Hey everybody, Frankie here. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're gonna look at how to do slide notes in FL Studio. Let's get to it. Now, I've created this little bass riff here, so let's just take a listen. Sometimes when you have a, a pattern in here, you wanna add some dynamics to it. You wanna make it, um, just give it a little bit of life. Uh, the notes sound good. They just they just go from one note to the other, but sometimes a little slide can add a lot to it. And there's a couple ways to go about that in FL Studio, and we're gonna go over one today. So up here, you'll see a little triangle. This triangle represents uh, the slide note tool. So we've got a D sharp here, and I wanna replace that with a slide note. So I'm gonna right click on this D sharp to delete it, and I'm gonna go select the slide tool, by left clicking, and then I'm gonna replace that. And you'll notice there's a little triangle there now that tells you it's a slide note. Now, if you play it now, you're not gonna get the effect you're looking for. It almost made it silent. So for us to get that slide, what we're gonna to have to do is drag this note we're transitioning from out past it. And so when we play now, you're gonna see that slide up to that. And by dragging, I'm alt dragging now, you can alt drag this and the distance of this slide note represents how long the slide is. So that was pretty good. And it's gonna hold this note as long as this first note is. So if we want it to go just a little bit and then drop off, we can do that, or we can we can drag this all the way out and it'll hold this D sharp for the entire length of this C. Now there's another way to get the same effect. So you've got your standard D sharp here. If you notice, there's no triangle in that. Uh, as I showed before, you can click on this triangle and then draw these notes in. You can draw, draw them in and they'll have that effect on them. But you can also double click on an existing note and you can just turn it on right there. And that's kind of an easy way if you decide you want to experiment with it without having to delete your note and add it in. If you know you're doing slides from the front end, you can use this little tool up here. And if you want to change it after you've already programmed your notes, you can just use this one. Click Accept, and now we've got a beautiful slide. Anyway, that's it. I hope this helped, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video.